The fun to drive, bold styling was all new last year. Volkswagen of North Tampa has given us the 2023 Volkswagen Taos SEL 4 Motion in your deep black pearl. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides. I'm going to go over all the specs and details starting now. The Volkswagen Taos SEL has a more dynamic appearance, starting with your IQ lights, which is adaptive LED headlamps in the front, LED cornering with dynamic LED daytime running that brush into your illuminated grill, matte black surrounding the fenders and the lower skirt with clearance at 6.4 inches. It's not going to be the best in class. However, if you're looking at rivals like the new Honda HRV, that's under six inches of clearance. The Mazda CX-30, even when you're looking at it at Toyota perspective, similar to the Subaru Crosstrack, standard 17 inch on the S. These are 18 inch bi-colored alloy wheels. A link at 175.8 inches with a wheelbase at 105.9 inches. In this class, the HRV will be the longest. This is not going to be the shortest that would go to the Kona, but this one is going to be more practical for an everyday use. LED tail lamps that wrap around and the rear sets up higher, more aggressive okay. cargo at 27.9 cubic feet. Storage on both of the sides with a 12 volt charger. Underneath the floor, you have your spare tire and some storage. You can split fold the rear bench with a pass through at a 40 60 split. Increasing your cargo to 65.9 cubic feet with a payload of over 900 pounds. Even though this is not going to back the most performance. Still a turbocharger, so it should be fun. Let's go inside, start it up, so you can hear that exhaust note. Performance with a 1.5 liter TSI inline four cylinder turbocharged, producing 158 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque. That's paired to a seven speed DSG, which is because it is the four motion. If you got the front wheel drive, it would be an eight speed, so you can understand why it's more fun because it's a dual clutch transmission. Also, changing your gas consumption 25 to 32 mpgs, front wheel drive 28 to 36, weight distribution 5941. So it's not going to be athletic to take corners, but the curb weight that goes up to around 3430, which is what we have stopping distance 60 to zero under 130 feet if you're looking for a more dynamic drive i would say go for the four motion so you get the dual clutch if you want something that's going to sip gas go for the front wheel drive let me know in the comments what you think about the 2023 volkswagen taos sel as we go into the interior go over the tech and take this for our test run entering inside the volkswagen taos sel headroom is going to be at 39.5 inches legroom at 40 Point one inches. Bucket front seats, gray and black leather. You'll get the contrast stitching. You're gonna get 10-way power adjustment for the driver, four-way manual adjustment, their heated seats, your everyday materials with the gloss black and that gray mixture for the leatherette, contrast stitching, one touch up and down for your windows. It's gonna be more firm to ride. Pretty large storage pocket. The dashboard gets this gray slash black gloss that goes through the whole dash. I do like the futuristic style with your digital gauge cluster. It's also multi-function so you can have your driving data, your assistant setting, your navigation, your audio sound system, your Bluetooth connectivity. Three spoke leatherette steering wheel, multi-function. It is heated through your eight inch infotainment. On the S it would be a 6.5. We have the gesture, pinch, swipe, Click the menu so you can see all the apps we have. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, Wi-Fi, Hotspot, CarNet. Click into your Climatron for your dual climate control settings. Click into your assistance settings. I like this because like I've shown you before, you can click on the actual blue icons and you can turn them on or off and you can change any of the settings to make it easier for you. Switch it to reverse. We have a reverse camera with your reverse parking sensors. You get a storage compartment on the top, working down the lower with the gloss black around your air vents, dual climate control settings, wireless charging pad, two USB-C ports, and a 12 volt. You have your driver mode select. Cup holders a 16.9 ounce fits without any issue. I would say a 20 ounce will be max. Area for some pins or your key fob. Gonna be soft for your elbows. Open up inside, it's deep 
it's just not so wide. A large pano moon roof that goes all the way to the back seats. Let's see how I look back there. For the back seats, I'm at 37.9 inches of headroom, 40.1 inches of legroom, flat bench. And it's pretty wide in the interior, except for the fact that it does not have a flat floor. You get one USB-C port, your air vents, storage behind both of the front seats. Door panel gets the everyday materials all over. It's going to be more firm in the back, one touch up and down for your windows, and it's a pretty decent storage pocket. Sitting into the center, headroom is still no issue, nor is leg space, even though I am sharing feet, butt, shoulder space. Obviously, I'm blocking the air vents, but you can feel the air circulate all around you. So any of the rivals, this is going to beat it with the feel of the air, with the feel of room, and the fact that I'm six foot three and I don't have to really sacrifice sitting into the center. Taking the 2023 Volkswagen Taos SEL out for our test run, a 1.5 liter four cylinder turbocharged, 158 horsepower. Doesn't sound like a lot, but you gotta also think this thing weighs under 3,500 pounds. So it is quite a bit, even though this is a box structure, it sits up higher than most of the rivals. Ground clearance is over six inches, so you're pretty good with that. Because this is the four motion, you get the dual clutch, so it's more dynamic with the drive for your everyday in and out. If you want it to be more of a gas sipper, like I was saying on the exterior, option the front wheel drive and you'll get the eight-speed tip Tronic, which there's nothing wrong with either the two just you will see that this is going to be a little bit quicker because of the shifts 184 pound feet of torque for speed bumps you're going to obviously feel a little bit but that's at like 10 miles per hour it's pretty soft for the suspension so i do like that the front windscreen it is large and all the windows around it so nothing sleek here very traditional and something that helps for safety driving it just normal you're gonna be hitting about a two and a half to three RPM. The air noise filters in, there's no dual pane windows. If you need to have some more speed, a little bit of dynamics, but at 59, 41, I wouldn't do anything crazy. Now there is three things I like and three things that I dislike. Is anything more than that, I'd be buying this Taos. The three things that I like about it is when you put this against any of the rivals, you have the best interior space and you have pretty decent amount of storage capacity in the door panels, considering this is a smaller SUV. It's not so large, so you're under 180 inches, so you're not something like an HRV where they've extended it so much, it's basically the same as a CRV. The second thing that I like about it is you now get safety on all levels. So frontal pedestrian detection, you get your blind spot monitoring, your lane keep assist, and your rear cross traffic. So these are awesome features, especially if you don't want to option up to a 35, 36 grand vehicle. Comparing it to the rivals, you're gonna have a lot more technology, even at the base price. The disadvantage is you're gonna get the smaller touch screen. The last thing that I like about the vehicle is they give you an option. If you want performance, you don't really have to go crazy in the sense like other vehicles go to a different trim. You just option four wheel drive. If you want better economics in your fuel, you just go to the front wheel drive. It's awesome because you now can tailor your vehicle any way you want for the interior specs and you can get that with a dynamic drive or better economics. Three things that I dislike, the steering wheel doesn't get the touch pads or your climate control and that is something that I mean, I think it should be, especially when you're in the SEL trim. Turn radius at more or less a stop point is gonna get about almost three lanes. Give her a little go. Throaty, but the road noise is there. Hard brakes. It's good. The second thing that I dislike about the vehicle is there's no power seat adjustment for the passenger. And when you're in the SEL, you're expecting to get all the bells and whistles and you're not getting that on the passenger side, which takes me into the back seat for the last thing that I dislike is they strip out pretty much everything on the door panel. It's all hard materials and I get it. We're trying to save costs so that way you get a bargain deal on a vehicle. It just would be nice when you're getting into the higher tiers that they keep the leather red, you keep the ambient lighting. Everyday vehicle, practical vehicle, it's a good mixture. 
do I like it better than Subaru for the cross track? I think this does drive more sporty than the cross track. That one's gonna have better ground clearance. Visibility is about the same. Your adaptive cruise control is gonna work very similar where you go maybe a couple tenths of a mile and it's gonna turn off. You're gonna have to engage quite a few times with it, but you expect that when you're in this price point. As for the Honda HRV, great vehicle, underpowered comparing to this one. The Kia Soltis is going to also be slower than this one. Interior space will be very comparable to this. For the Mazda C x30 the turbo is definitely where it's at for that one but then the price escalates this one you're still getting that fun to drive you get that you still get the safety you get more technology embedded in this one because the mazda is not going to even have touch screen it's going to have the roller knob so you can go through your navigation or your infotainment screen this has gesture only reason why i would choose a tig one is to get a third row seat in which you would have to option a fully loaded one to the top spec i like to thank volkswagen of North Tampa for giving us this 2023 Volkswagen Taos SEL for our car review. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community. If not, what are you waiting for? Click the next video, the subscribe button, check out the merchandise, details, website, and everything we do here at Hawkeye Rides.